Hi, my name is Aisha, otherwise known as Spaisha, and here are the six things I did in order to go from this to this. Now, what I'm about to share with you isn't fact. I don't have any scientific data to prove to you that this is exactly why you have to do this. All I know is that from my before and after photos, I went from fried noodles to what I have now because of these six things. Step one, do not color your hair. Growing up, I sat in many salon chairs with stylists telling me, oh, this is ammonia free or this doesn't do any damage at all. Wrong, they lied every single time especially if you're going lighter, especially if you're using bleach, you're basically just saying, I don't care about the health of my hair. I went blonde and it looked nice for a week or two and then it just went so brassy and I couldn't fix it. I say rock your natural hair color, it'll look better because it's healthier. Step two, do not use heat. This may seem obvious, but this was a very important part in my natural hair journey. When I was younger, I was best friends with my GHD hair straightener. Every night I would wash my hair while it was drying, I would brush it a hundred times. Every time I would see ringlets, I would brush it out so that it would be easier to straighten it in the morning. And when I would do that, I would watch it sizzle and I'd see the steam leaving my hair. I totally regret it. I did it every single day until I was in the eighth grade. Last year, I straightened my hair once. It looked nice, but it took me two weeks to heal from the damage I caused. My hair wouldn't curl the same way. I was getting 90 degree curls. It wasn't going into its natural ringlet stage. It took me two weeks to heal from one hair straightening session. Can you imagine how long it actually took me to heal from all those years? of straightening my hair a really long time. And I straightened my hair on perfectly good, healthy, normal hair. Can't even imagine how it was like straightening damaged hair over and over again. Just thinking about it makes me so sad. Like, why did I do that? I don't even use heat when I'm diffusing my curly hair. I use cool air the entire time. Step three, do not use sulfates, silicones, parabens, alcohol. Do not brush your hair while it's dry. Basically, follow the curly girl hair method. You have to be extra good to your curls. I used to hang out in the Walmart hair aisle just walking up and down trying to find these products, seeing will they work for my hair. They didn't work for my hair 100% of the time. I tried literally everything. If a hair company makes products for straight hair and for curly hair, don't use it. Most likely, they don't really know what they're doing when it comes to curly hair. They just have a small section for curly hair and this makes my hair look so bad because it has a whole bunch of stuff that they also use for straight hair. You don't need that in your life. Find a company that spends 100% of their R&D money on figuring out how to make curly hair look good. My whole life changed when I started using Diva Curl products because they spend 100% of their time researching on what's good for curly hair. They're just focused on curly girls. They just get it. For my international girls that are watching, I understand you can't get Diva Curl where you live. Find products that don't have sulfates and silicones and parabens and alcohol and all that crap. Step four oil your hair. It's a cultural thing for daisies to put oil in their hair, especially while growing up. When I was younger, my mom would say, te lagao, te lagao, for God's sakes, te lagao, and I just never listened to her. I wish I did. I didn't think anything of it. I'm a fool. I'm sorry, I'm me. It's very beneficial to your hair. I'm going to make a whole nother video based off of my oil process and what I do and what I use, but just, Quickly, I will mention, I love coconut oil, especially from Tropic Isle Living. I totally abused this bottle. I use it twice a week and I, I just go crazy with it. I also use red pimento oil. I, I don't even think I should show you the bottle. It's so abused. I use it twice a week as well. Uh, I can't live without this stuff. I sleep with oil in my hair twice a week because I wash my hair twice a week. So I put in oil, I wake up in the morning and wash my hair and it looks very shiny and healthy and I've been doing it regularly for two years. Step five, deep condition. 
It's really important to deep condition your hair. It does something that hair oil can't and it penetrates each hair strand. The first ingredient of a deep conditioner or a hair mask is water. If you're suffering from damage, which I did for so many years, you need deep conditioners in order to truly repair the damage that you've caused. My favorite deep conditioner is Heaven and Hair. Out of all the deep conditioners I've used, this one is the one that makes my hair look the best. They're all good for you, they're all great, but this will always be my favorite. I've used so many different kinds and this one consistently has always given me good hair days. And the sixth and final step is patience. <laughs> Y'all probably hate me right now for saying this, right? Of course, we know, we're supposed to have patience. No, I really mean it. I need to put a lot of emphasis on this because I get so many messages from girls saying, I did exactly what you told me to do. I followed your routine, I listened to your tips, and my hair still looks like this. And it's like, well, how long have you been doing it? Oh, three months. Three months is nothing in the curl world. Try three years, try a decade. I did my big chop in 2010 right here, and this is 2017. Just trust the struggle. It's a whole lifestyle change. It's totally worth it. I feel like this is my best physical attribute. And everything I just listed before, maybe it won't work for you. Maybe one of those things will work for you. That's the beauty of the unique madness that's growing out of your scalp. Thanks for watching this video. I'm going to have another video just based off of the oils that I've been using. I'll have another video of why I went curly and why I stayed curly. Go ahead and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you want to see from me and I'll try to make that happen. Bye.